Hey guys, it's Mike here from Team Major Racing. Today I decided to do a video of me going over my trucks and just to show you what upgrades I have put in, how they work, what upgrades I uh, hope to get, and just uh, kind of going over stuff, okay? Okay, so I decided to do from oldest all the way up to newest. So I have a uh, Traxxas Stampede 4x4 VXL. I have my Slash 4x4 VXL. And then I have my Axial, which is an SCX-10 Trail Honcho. So starting over here with my uh, Stampede, first thing you'll notice right off the bat is this uh, breast cancer wounds. Uh, my mom recently, a couple years ago, well, has breast cancer, but we came over that, and now she's cancer-free. So, another thing you notice right off the bat is we have trenchers, 2.8 inch trenchers, mounted on the, uh, kind of the just stock Traxxas rims that come with the Italian tires, which are the originals. Uh, let's see, the hood, kind of cracked up, but that's what happens when... Uh, you get a stampede and you don't know how to drive it because this was my first truck and this is Basically where it all started. I did have a mini recon over here Which is right here, but this thing was a was a pretty cheap truck. It really got me into the RC hobby um, Why I didn't really add into my lineup. I haven't used this thing in years. I mean the tires I mean they didn't even come glued so they kind of like were peeling off and I didn't have tire glue at the time I wasn't really into RC as much, but after this, I saw the other bigger, bad, badder ones, and that really got me into it. Back over at the Stampede, under the hood here, we just have stock motor, stock ESC, stock everything. Uh, as you notice, the back rear drive shaft that's broken. Uh, the front one broke also, but I replaced that one with a front drive shaft, and at the time, this one. Uh, was still intact, but this one I uh, replaced actually with a rear drive shaft, and it held up uh, pretty well. But also, it wasn't meant for steering blocks, so it was wobbling around like crazy. But so recently, I bought new, just stock ones um, because I stripped those a lot. As you can see, it's pretty dusty. Uh, haven't really used these since uh, like June, but. They both were broken, so my uh, slash and my stampede. But uh, yeah, this thing is a pretty beast truck. I would highly recommend it. All waterproof, brushless flies. Um, when I put my 19 tooth pinion gear in here uh, and a 3S battery, this thing will easily hit 80 miles an hour. No joke. Um, it's it's a very serious thing, and it's very uh, hard to control a very fast car when you just did a bash with it. I mean, going from one to another is a pretty big change. Um, another, some of the cheap stuff I hope to get, aluminum shock caps with all my trucks. Uh, just do some aluminum shock towers, front and rear. Get the rubber funny car wheels for the wheelie bar, just for the heck of it. Uh, maybe get some colored A-arms maybe, who knows, just an upgrade, definitely want to get some steel drive shafts, but all this, those stuff are more expensive, definitely want to get the big bore shocks, or, uh, some Powerline Power Strokes, uh, these, mine really bouncy right now, it's really pretty springy, so I'm gonna have to get thicker shock oil for them, and, uh, yeah, that's basically the Stampede, moving on over, we have my Slash, Body's all stock, you know, put a Proline sticker. Right off the bat, you notice, got, uh, Badlands on, sorry, uh, actually 2.2 .2 Renegades on there. And, uh, yep, this thing was Ultimate. I got this last Christmas. Big bore shocks, sway bars, everything stock. Um, I have an Intigy fan. I mean, Intigy's not the greatest, but... I mean, it'll do for now. Uh, actually, I have a story to tell. Uh, this was originally a dual, but I took the other fan off because it was way too much amp uh, required. 
and it actually brought it down so much that I lost connection to the truck, just like if you were to turn off your radio first, and my truck just went haywire, and I was actually driving it during one of my soccer uh, uh, tournaments, and uh thing took off, hit a curb, jumped over a lady that was sitting by a tree, into a crowd of people, wow! and uh, this was actually broken, uh, uh, it's downstairs, I'll go get that and show you in a little bit, uh, this thing was bent like crazy, and this is aluminum, I've never bent this, I had my dad try to bend the thing just a little bit, couldn't do it, I don't know how the battery bent that, or how it bent at all, but, you know, Got the Badlands. They perform great, along with those trenches over there. Um, I really hope to get uh, some upgrade drive shafts. Uh, some uh, definitely want to get some lights for this baby. Uh, definitely want to get some a Ford Raptor body or a Chevy Silverado body. They look sweet. Uh, upgrade the motor. Probably put like a Mamba Max in there, or uh, you know. Just some of that stuff, basic stuff, just like that, the stampede. And uh, finally, moving on over to the Axial SCX-10. Uh, starting off, you see I built this little crate. I have these uh, RC Mart scale tow chains, which I mounted. Well, I didn't mount them, but this I connect them right to these tow chucks tow hooks, which I actually connected right through the bumper, got my uh, RC Mart uh, license plate, then I just put a little Adventure Wheels toolbox on there, pretty sweet, and a little cooler, which actually opens up, but it's pretty tricky, uh, and so we take the body off, first thing I'm going to show you is my custom trailer hitch, this I made actually made out of Lego pieces that I haven't used in like five years but uh yeah pretty sweet if you need like you can put like a little cord through there and connect the trailer or you can hook it right on here but basically this connected to this this back chassis the back of the chassis which I also have other tow hooks um, and then so that is also connected to the uh, the actual drive the rear drive shaft and so if the trailer is heavy it's gonna actually pull down on the chassis which is pretty sweet I think uh, this baby's all stock I got this pretty recently got this uh, about June but uh, stock tires they work great I might might want to get like mud slingers maybe if I was crazy you know you know pretty crazy but uh, definitely gonna want to get um, an extra motor just in case they're only like 20 bucks gonna definitely want to get the uh, aluminum steering bar this thing I mean, you can you can just see this thing bend I mean that's pretty ridiculous but uh, definitely want to waterproof it with a either a Traxxas or a Savix servo uh, definitely want to get this gearbox waterproofed uh, waterproof receiver box and a waterproof ESC I actually found an ESC online for about $20. Uh, forget what brand it is, but it's about $20 waterproof. I think it holds 2S LiPo. I'm not really sure, but uh, got uh, these four link suspension, which is still plastic, which is stock. Definitely going to want to upgrade those. And uh, yeah, those are basically my trucks. Oh, and one more thing this is my little RC battery charging station. Uh, my batteries I'm running for the Slash and Stampede. I'm running a 30C 3S 5000 milliamp reaction battery. Uh, I got those at my local hobby shop, excuse me, and a 30C reaction 2S 4000 milliamp. Uh, with that battery, I can get about eh, almost an hour and a half with the axial. So that thing plows, keeps going. Um, me and my cousin, which is the other person on this account with me, this other ch with this channel, uh, he, me and him were crawling, and uh, one of his front tires to his crawler, actually, the uh, locked diff, the diff broke, and uh, his tire would spin, 
but it, it wasn't locked, so he would go up to a rock, the tire would just sit there, while this tire's spinning, and he couldn't get up most of the rocks, so I towed him up the rocks with uh, my own truck, so it was a lot of fun, definitely look forward to seeing you guys uh, commenting, and uh, definitely hope you guys like this. Thanks, and peace.